everyone this is Ajit Khan and this in this video tutorial we are going to see how to use Vim Editor. Vim Editor is one of the most powerful tool and it has many features and functions that can help us to be more productive. So let's start with Vim. So I assume that you have uh, already installed Vim. So to use Vim we will use, we will use command vi or Vim so let's i am in my home directory so let's create a file let's create a file file1.txt it will open the editor and it is a blank file so to go into insert mode that means to write something in the file you need to press i so here at the bottom you can see uh, insert mode is on so we can type anything so we are we have uh, written three lines and we are still in insert mode that means we can type anything to get out of it we can exit in two way one way is without saving this file and other way is by saving this file so Vim has uh, Vim always have two modes one is insert mode other is command mode so to exit we need to enter into command mode so to uh, enter into command mode we need to press escape key so escape key is the way to enter in command mode so I have pressed escape and you can see insert is gone here and we are now in insert mode that means whatever we type won't be written on the file only few keys will enable insert mode for example I key will enable insert mode so now we, we are in um, command mode so to exit the file we need to type colon and to save this file with the content we need to press wq that means write and quit and hit enter now if we list out the files we can see we can see file.txt is already there okay so now we will open it again sudo vim and file one dot txt now it's asking for password since I use sudo command so here is our file as you can see whatever we typed previously is saved in this one so now I want to move downwards so I either I can use the arrow keys or I can use jklh j will move down pressing j will move down pressing k will move up and pressing l will move right and pressing h will move left so these four keys uh, these four letters will work in command mode so by default whenever we enter into the file we are in by default command mode so okay and uh, what if the page is very long and we need to go uh, at the end of the page so for that we can use since uh, for that we can use shift G so we will directly jump to the last line of the page okay now we are at last line of the page now I want that something to be written after this line the very next line of this current line so in command mode O is the key that can uh, give us directly the new line so when I press O I am already entered in the insert mode after this line so now I can directly type this is the fourth line this is the fifth line and so on so we have added two more lines now I want that these changes should be discarded uh, while, while exiting this uh, changes should not be saved so I press escape to enter in command mode uh, so insert is gone again 
and we are now in command mode so colon we are not we won't be using wq since we don't want to save so we don't want to write the changes so we'll simply type q and colon for without of not asking any questions so it will directly quit without saving the file now if we cat the content we can see there are only three lines that means uh, the two lines which we added is not there so let's go ahead and enter in the file okay so we are here again and we are again in command mode directly now one more feature is there to be um, suppose I want to go uh, this is a very long line this uh, this sample vim tutorial uh, may be a long line and I want to directly go to the end of the line so for that I can use shift dollar so it will directly jump to the last character now uh, I can press insert mode and I can start typing and if uh, I am on the last letter and I want to go on the start of the line so again I will I need to press escape to go into command mode and shift and cap sign uh, the sign on the number six using shift okay so we are so we are at the start of the line cool so and uh, the next functionality we will see is the copy paste or the cut paste so we are now in command mode so I want to copy these two lines these last two lines and paste them again so right now in command mode I can select multiple lines or letters uh, via visual mode so to enable visual mode I need to press the key B so we will enable visual mode you can see visual here so by moving arrow key you can select the text and uh, to directly select till the end of the line we can use shift dollar or to go at the start of the line shift cap so I want um, that till the end of the file everything should get selected so I can use shift G so and again shift dollar so everything will be everything will be selected and now I can do two things either I can cut this content or copy this content so to copy this content Y is the key so after pressing Y now I need to go um, at the uh, end of this line so I will press O now I'm again in insert mode directly on the next line and uh, I'll press escape to go again in command mode and P is the key to paste again so what I do, did is in visual mode I select the text using shift G or shift dollar to select the particular line or the particular um, text and then uh, I move the cursor where I want to paste the lines and then I press um, then to select the text to copy the text I press Y and then moving out to a particular place where I want to paste the line then I press P always remember all these keys will work in command line mode command mode okay so so as you can see these are paste so let's again cut this text now I want to cut uh, the first line and paste it at the end so I'm in the command mode so press V to select the text and shift dollar till the end of the line and then I want to cut this text so D is the key so using D I have cut the now O then escape to insert in command mode and then P so D is to cut Y is to copy and T is to paste okay so now I want whatever changes I have done till now should not be saved should not be saved 
so to make these changes uh, undo we have again a um, key that is u to undo the changes so for that also we need to be in command mode so as you can see we are already in command mode and if you are not sure whether you are in command mode or not so you can press escape again and again that won't make a difference so pressing u will uh, one by one do the un uh, changes undone so pressing it again and again and again will leave us to the oldest change as you can see already at the oldest change so again escape colon right quit and you are and you are out of the editor so this is how copy paste work cut paste work now suppose as we have created this file with pseudo permissions so what if we open the file and uh, and we are writing something this is without sudo and we are escape colon right quit so basically uh, this has permitted us but if it doesn't cat file so if uh, there might be a case where the file is owned by the root and we can't access it without sudo and by default we have opened it with sudo uh, without sudo sorry so uh, and if we have written a lot of text and we want oh no we have uh, opened it without sudo and we can't save the changes so what we can do is press escape colon write write exclamation sudo t modulus sign and hit enter and this will save the content and it will ask you to enter to continue so press enter okay so we have been the changes have been saved and we can quit so this is all about uh, how to use vim I hope you enjoyed the videos and always remember that using Vim you might get frustrated that there are so many options so many things how to uh, learn them how to uh, get usual to them so it's all about practice if you start uh, I was a, a nano user but when I uh, switched to Vim first I faced many difficulties while uh, learning things that which key the, uh, do what and so on so, but when I started using it and gradually now I am a fan of Vim. So uh, trust me, use it and you will love to use it. Thanks for watching. Do like it.